What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 baby we are back it feels great to be here for yet another episode this honestly is probably my favorite series I've ever done here on YouTube I'm having so much fun you guys are loving it the videos are doing so well the vibes are high we're just we're killing it dude I it's 7 a.m. right now I just woke up at 7 a.m. excited to record now the thing is I am gonna be leaving here soon going on a little trip gonna get ahead on videos and stuff but um yeah just want to let you guys know thank you so much i appreciate it so we are back and i'm thinking it's about time let's hop into some more story content get back into the horizon adventure keep trying to expand everything we've got going on looks like we've got um quite a few options here i'm gonna say let's start off with some uh, horizon wilds flood sweat and years sounds pretty interesting Finally! The fans have been wanting this for ages! Adding it to your schedule. Alright, so we're gonna turn this bad boy around. Just love this game so much. I there's something about it, man. I man. Sometimes it leaves me speech. I, I'm just like I, I haven't played this in a couple days, so like getting back on and just being able to record again. I've missed it. So we're going to be racing jet skiers, is what I'm seeing here. Probably bobbing and, and weaving down the river over waterfalls and stuff. Oh, baby, in an off-road Bronco. Rally spec Bronco here. It's a good day for a showcase event, baby. It's a good day to have a good day. Let's get it. There they are, off to our left. <laughs> okay. So, Ford Bronco. A gang of jet skiers. Who you got? Oh my goodness. Here we go. This would actually be so insane. Riding a jet ski through a jungle like this on all the little rivers and stuff would be epic. <laughs> We're doing 360s and stuff. We've got a guy doing a Superman off on the right. Ramping over waterfalls. Watch out, flamingos. I'm sorry, Peter. This is just insane. Looks like we're in second place out of four currently. Third place, 33% of the way through the race. Gonna have to pick, ooh. ooh. Watch out for the little donkeys running around. Dude, hit the hazard sign back there, the, the turn signal sign, marker. But to find out what's better, baby. Being an earthbender or a waterbender. Land versus sea. Let's see what we got. Dude, Horizon, they should make some boat racing games. We should have all kinds of racing. We don't have to have tires, you know what I mean? We can make anything. We can make like speed racer racing, hovercraft racing. Oh. Now that's. I didn't even see that coming. Dude, this was dirty. You come up over the ridge, you have to go through two trees there, and then you have to shoot this gap here. That is is not an easy, easy section. Funny thing about trees, how they can't move, yet sometimes it feels like they pop up out of out of nowhere. Gotta stay out of the deep stuff, Trev. Oof. We're good. Taking a right through here. Getting close to the end, but there's still quite a bit of real estate to work with. I feel like they have a much, much more direct line than we do. We're doing a lot of snaking back and forth, whereas they usually have the better angle. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Come on, baby. 93% of the way. It's a sprint to the finish. This is it. Stay on land as long as you can. We got him. Chalk up a dub, baby. 221. It's a way to start things off. And look at this. Spawned us back out into the uh, the wild. Let me just. Hey, Trevor. We've got adventures to plan. You're not in the Hall of Fame yet, kid. I'm I'm working on it. Let me. You interrupted my my bonk. All right. 71 out of 200 XP boards. Eventually, we're gonna have to take all those out. Expanding Horizon Baja next is gonna make it so that each uh, segment only has one one expansion left. Uh oh. 
Become a stunt driver for a movie. Could be interesting. Great! They're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie, and the star Frankie Beaumont was asking around for you. I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. Wow. This should be fun. It's like looking in a mirror. Right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in! Let's go! I like this, so it's gonna be all about driving fast and crazy, I'm assuming. So... It's like every other mission in Forza. Vanguard Force 10. Yeah, I've seen the teasers. And I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. You have to do your own stunts. Oof. Well, let's this see This Mustang we is do. nasty. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna teach him how to drive. Looks like three stars is gonna be in a minute and 40 seconds. Can I... Can I just go straight to the destination? I don't see any checkpoints or anything. Are you... Is he following me? I don't even think he's following me, but I... I mean... Kind of a... <laughs> kind of a cheap way to do things, I guess. But, hey, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I mean, we're supposed to get there a minute and 40. If that's the, the stipulation you're giving me, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna make sure... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I get there. He's close. <laughs> Ended up not being very much of a, uh, a shortcut there. We've already there. started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance Going to here. cover. What if we don't tell anyone and... And... Hang on. You do the driving, and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Okay. We'll take three stars on that bad boy. That was about the easiest thing we have ever done. But, uh, nice. I kind of like we've got a, a little bit of story in here. Little things. You know, we, we've got that. We've got the photos. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, you know, I'd be I'd be down to go through. Looks like we've got test driver ones. All these yellow ones are all like multiple, you know, events. There's our next scene in an Aston Martin. I don't know. We could eventually take these. Oh yeah, we've got the, the street racing ones. We'll probably end up going around and check those out. Okay. Beautiful. So we're going to be able to do that whenever we want. Let's uh, go ahead and go back into Horizon Adventure, see what we've got going on next. I'm going to say let's do um, Rush, the Juggernaut, an epic mega trailblazer across all of Mexico. Is this going to be like a, a Goliath race one or something? Coming right up. I'll tell Jay to make it a good one. Hey, Trevor. You're on the home stretch and about to make Hall of Fame history. Proud of you. Yes, you did it! A rise and rush is complete! Now, you can excuse me. I have a date with several drift zones. All right, so that's going to, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take the, the road less traveled here. We're just, we're gonna go straight out our destination. This is the best way to get skill points and, and all kinds of stuff anyway, so might as well, uh, make our life a little bit easier. Are we, are we going the right direction? It's, it's, uh, I, I don't, I don't think this is where we want to go. I don't know why it's saying that's our destination. Our destination's over here. Let's just fast travel to the Juggernaut. So it's a, it's a trailblazer event. We're going to want to go through that off the side of the mountain. Okay. I don't think we're in the right car for it, but uh, this should be pretty epic. What do you guys think our best uh, our best off-road vehicle is? To be honest, we haven't built too many off-road vehicles. I know that's something I kind of want to focus on in the future. The, uh, the BMW that everyone gets... Or maybe this is something we got out of a, a wheel spin. I don't remember. I thought it was one of the, like, starter cars that we got. I used this thing to be able to get all of our fast travel boards, and it worked out pretty well. So, let's see if we can start it now. We started it, I believe. We're in a trailblazer here. Okay. So, we've got... Don't hit the rocks. Come on, baby. we got to get this thing back under control. We've, we've got 287 seconds. Which is a solid amount of time for a trailblazer. Most of these are a lot shorter than that. And we need to get all the way to the other end of the map. 
and 5.6 miles, dude. Just absolutely flying. The biggest thing we're going to have to watch out for, the biggest hazard in this game are random rock, like, croppings. Like, there's just random big piles of rocks that pop up out of nowhere and you can't really see it through the foliage, so. We'll, uh... That's what I'm talking about. The rocks, dude. Hang on to that skill. The skill chain. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, we're good. See how these... I mean, like, if you're going 100 plus miles an hour, you don't really see those coming coming up in front of you. Sometimes you can. Like, this one was easy to get around, but... um. Here we go. 4.3 miles. 230 seconds to do it. The problem is we're gonna have to go through the jungle, dude. This is outrageous, man. This is crazy. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go around right. Try to avoid the trees if we can. Shoot the gap here. Let's just stay in these poppy fields or whatever these are. Try to come through here. Sometimes slow is smooth and smooth is fast, baby. You can apply that to Forza, too. But yeah, man, I, I, I kind of like some of the little storyline things. That's actually something I've, I've been going off about on Twitter today. I don't know if you guys saw it, but um, the the Game Awards Game of the Year nominees were announced. I think there's six games or eight games or something like that. There's there's some decent games on there. I'm going to be honest, it's it's all pretty mid, though. Like it's it's There's nothing on there that's screaming Game of the Year to me, and the fact that Forza wasn't nominated for it just absolutely... Pisses me off. Let me uh, let me flex a little bit. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab this XP board as well. But yeah, dude, it, it, it just it makes me mad. Like it, this is 100% my game of the year. I understand how some people can can say like you know racing games can't win game of the year. It's it's you know it's beautiful. It's open world. It reuses a lot of assets and cars and stuff from previous Horizon games. I hate trees. Um, I hate milk buckets. But yeah, I can understand how some people could say like you know. Game of the Year should be a, a story game or, you know, be something a little bit different. I hate trees. I just don't even understand how it's not even nominated. Like, I, I, if it doesn't win it, whatever, I still think that's wrong. I think this is clearly one of the best games ever made. Technologically, gameplay, fun-wise, like, literally everything about it is perfect, in my opinion. And in a lot of reviewers' opinions. But the fact that it's not even on the ballot... That's just, it's its pissed me off. I, I, I was on Twitter halfway through this episode waiting for something to load. I got like distracted with the dogs and stuff like that. And so I, I just, I, I don't, I've been thinking about it. I'm pretty upset. But it's going to be okay. We're out here enjoying it. That's all that ultimately matters. It does look like we might get here with a decent amount of time to spare, although it looks like we've got a pretty sketchy finale. Ah, oh, that would have been really cool if you would have done that all in one one move, Trev. There it is. I'm telling you. Trail blaze. What did you think? I love these things. I hardly have to do anything. You made it. That was awesome. Take a second to appreciate it. Alright, now saddle up again, because I reckon you can do it faster. 100% can do it faster. Obviously, stopping for the XP boards and all the trees we hit were not the uh, most efficient way of doing things, but um, still pretty happy with that. This X5 is, is actually pretty insane. Wow, you can't go up there. That's unfortunate. Street scene, baby. Let's check this one off the map. The Marathon, the definitive street scene event. We're looking good, man. We're getting there. Checking off a lot of these expansions. I'll give him the go-ahead for the marathon. Oye, amigo, gracias a ti, Horizon Street Scene has never been bigger. Nice work, my friend. Well, I appreciate you, baby. Let's uh, let's get after it. I felt like we've been roaming around in the dirt quite a bit here so far, so. Bien, bien. Might as well. Every street racer from Guanajuato to the coast, my friend. Take things to the streets. Time for the marathon. A marathon, huh? I think uh, I think there's a few different like long long form races. Obviously, the Goliath is in here. The Goliath has been in every Forza game ever, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a version for off road racing and a version for Baja racing and stuff like that. So these final events that we're going to have going on are uh, 
are going to be pretty intense, baby. Just depends how, how long they're actually going to be. The marathon. It's going to want to choose a streetcar here. How could you ever say no to an Audi R8? I mean, this, this, this is one of my favorite builds that we've had so far. Obviously, there's a, a lot more on the docket, baby. A lot more to come. But uh, this should be fun. I actually I turned it up to unbeatable, so we'll see what happens. I'm a, a little bit concerned. I have no clue how long this race is. I'm assuming with a longer race, it's going to give us more time to potentially catch up. I guess at the same time, it also gives us more time to, uh, to mess up. It's one thing the AI doesn't do is they're, they're perfect through everything. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It's like that first place. Ooh. Okay, that that is an unfortunate unfortunate way to lose our skill points off the bat. But it looks like first place is, is holding a steady lead on us. We'll be okay. I feel like the street races are, are so easy. I just I, I, the AI just kind of I don't know. They half send it, especially with all the the civilian traffic around and stuff. They just I feel like they they don't give it their all. Close. Okay, Mr. Centenario, nice, nice job there, bud. Closed course, you know, closed circuit track racing. They don't have anything to worry about, so they hit all their apexes. They hit everything perfectly. I feel like in this, in this racing, they, they just, they don't, they don't fully commit. I say as I'm back here in, in third place. Whew. Okay, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to be better than that, Trev. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that just saw my life flash before my eyes here. Ooh. We gotta we gotta go hard right. I I'm gonna take it, baby. I, we're okay. I had a little a little mishap back there, a little roadblock. That's dude, I mean I I kinda called it a little bit. That's not exactly how I expected it to go. Typically they don't run into the the civilian traffic typically it's more like they just get a little hesitant around them but here we go baby the people of this town are uh, are hooking us up that's for sure Woo! be careful we are flying right now okay good section back there got a little bit squiggly towards the end but uh, we're still we're still making good time let's just keep this thing on the road that was a nasty corner right there so is that as long as we get our checkpoint we're good to go Woo! see this is where we excel obviously in town especially when we've got people breathing down our neck it gets Ooh, I thought those lights off in the distance were headlights and it scared me when we're in town it gets a little bit scary especially around please tell me I got that we did it's a little bit scary, especially around other people, just because it's it's tight. You don't have as much space to move around, but you guys can see here we can we can kind of get a little creative with our angles, with our slides, and just make sure we hit everything exactly as it's meant to be hit. Almost a nice corner there. We're we're good. One third of the way through. Looks like we've got open streets in front of us, which is exactly what we want. Swing this thing wide. Bring it in. Just keep that throttle pin, baby. Never know what headlights are gonna pop up over the crest of the hill. You gotta be a little bit careful. Dude, so we're we're good in the corners. I think we're slow in the straights. These guys are definitely catching us in the straights out here. I have I have not lifted once. Looks like we might be going into another town. We've got some pretty crazy route coming up next year. Ooh, stay stay out of the fences, Trev. You just gotta focus on what's in front of you, man. Don't look at what's behind. Make sure you hit your corners. That was nice. That Chintanario is right on you, though. I feel like a Chintanario versus an R8 is a bit of an unfair competition here. I feel like I'm in a Williams and, and he's in a Mercedes, but we're going to be okay. 
to try to swing this thing wide. We're going straight. We're going straight. Sometimes I come around the corner and it's kind of hard to tell where the next checkpoint's going to be and it makes me nervous. 51% of the way through this race and he's eating our lunch. We got a little lefty in here. Just lift off a little bit. Don't have to do much else, but we're going to be out on the main highway. We're going to get dusted here, dude. I feel like we got to get over. We're going to have to defend, I'm assuming. Maybe pit maneuver somebody in front of us and... Nope. 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 I mean, I, I'm going to try to even the odds here. He's in a faster car. There's, there's, no, there's no question about it. Look at him. He backed off a little bit, but he's going to catch right back up to us. Maybe. Top inside. Dude, these are insane. I'm actually, I'm, I'm stoked that we've essentially got a few different Goliaths in this game. So we're, we're going to be able to get this. I, I just, I get nervous. I get, I get nervous because when you're this deep into a race and you mess up, it, it just means a lot more. You know what I mean? When you cost yourself the last, you know, eight minutes or however long we've been racing. Oh my, I'm six, six minutes, 12. I was looking up at the top of the screen. Honestly, didn't even see those guys coming. Here we go. Break here. Gonna be honest, that was a terribly ugly corner there, Trev. Let's pay attention to the mini-map. I'm gonna get back outside the car. Here we go. So we've got some, some big snaky canyon turns coming up here. Might potentially play into our advantage. Got a late apex on this one. Just remember, slow is smooth and smooth is fast, baby. Around here. Woo! I feel like I say that all the time, the slow is smooth. I think literally stealth games, racing games, anything, but it's just, it's, it's a little reminder to me that when you get caught up in that moment, you're just, you try to race as fast as possible and you're, you're under pressure and you just, you feel like you got to do too much. You can only do as much as what your skill allows. Panicking anywhere in life is never going to be a good thing. You just, you, you got to be confident. You got to stay within your realm, push your boundaries a little bit but don't try to overdo it. 84% of the way through this race. Let's, uh, let's stop looking at the numbers and pay attention to what's in front of us. Dude, I, I try to lean in my seat when we come around some corners a little bit too hot and we're, we're losing that, that fight with physics. The car starts sliding off the road and I start trying to lean this way to try to bring her back. All right, we've got some nice, easy turns through here and then we're gonna have a hard 90 degree right so just be ready for that maybe hit a little I was gonna say a little e-brake to be cool but maybe maybe not our not our best idea 91% 9% Trev let's go gonna swing this guy wide cut her back in Woo! It's nothing but a straight to the finish here now. Don't hit anything. That Centenario's creeping. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? You gotta cut him off. It's a sprint to the finish. Oh my goodness, dude. Saved by the little Aseta thing. I actually wanna build one of those here pretty soon. I think it'd be fun. Eight minutes and 54 seconds. Honestly, not that long. I know some of the other ones are a bit longer. What the heck? We'll take it. My goodness. Photo finish there at the end. Should get a nice... I mean, it's, it's, it's not a crazy long race, but we should get a nice little boost of XP and, and money and stuff, especially considering we're going to have the max difficulty bonus. I think our game might have crashed, though. Oh, nope, it's here. We're good. Boss of Horizon, Mexico. I knew you could do it. You're one of the best Bounce. street racers at Horizon. Call me Big Smoke. Sick. So 5,000 accolade points. 
It's gonna be good enough for a wheel spin and stuff, I'm sure. Ooh, new accolade reward. Looks like we got 17,000 XP, so not, not the craziest. But it's not bad. We're gonna get an RS3 Sport back, okay. Looks good to me. So there you guys have it. That, my friends, is yet another kind of like storyline based thing here. I don't know, man. I, I like it. I, revisiting what we were talking about earlier, I, I just, I, I really think this game deserves game of the year. Oh, we, wow, looks like we earned some more. We're going to do these later. Which Leave me alone. That being said, I, I think it would be cool to see a bit more story in Forza Horizon. I'm hoping in Horizon 6... Imagine if we had some some sort of a career mode. I, I don't know if that would ruin the appeal of it being open world and, and just kind of like go out and drive and have fun with your buds and make some cool cars and do whatever you want. But I think some sort of a career mode would be cool with all the houses and the cars and the races and stuff. I feel like there's something something pretty special they could do there. I don't know. Let me Let me know what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching. We've got uh, four events left here. Some of them are pretty big races, so I'd say we probably have two more uh, story-based missions, story-based episodes coming before the end of this game, but um, we'll probably do some custom builds before then. So. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in our next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, peace out. This is Game of the Year.